uh, this afternoon. Steve? All right, David, well, some of the fastest power boats in the world are made right here in New England. How does 137 miles per hour sound? Hang on tight as Chronicles. Shana Seymour takes us to Rhode Island's Outer Limits. You could say that Mike Fiore is very addicted to speed. As owner of the Rhode Island company Outer Limits Power Boats, he builds the What's fastest going on? power boats in the world. I'm not moving. Uh, this boat runs uh, in excess of 130 miles an hour. This isn't even his fastest model, but Fiore has it cranked up to 137 miles an hour, the equivalent of a Category 4 hurricane, a tad windy but surprisingly smooth. Uh, I started the company 17 years ago, actually 17 years ago this month. And uh, my first boat was a 37-foot uh, outer limits, and it ran 84 miles an hour. So we've come a long way since then. Every year, Fiore builds dozens of custom boats for his roster of speed-addicted customers, all of whom are quite well-heeled. Our boats range from, you know, 500000 to $2 million. It depends how big and how fast. We've got a boat we're finishing now for the uh, Crown Prince of uh, Dubai. That's his second outer limit. So we've got... Uh, from a pretty extensive client list. Fiori builds everything in Rhode Island, even these massive engines that won't be winning any Sierra Club in Wow. Uh, wow, wow. 36, probably half a mile to the gallon. <laughs> half a mile to the gallon. 90, it gets about a mile and a half to the gallon. In the gentle waters of New England, Fiori says the sailing set hasn't always been receptive to these decidedly noisier boats. They used to not like it so much, but since we're one of the few companies still in business building boats, they like us a little bit better. <laughs> wow. That's sick. Pirate booty, Babe Ruth's missing piano, meat bottle diggers, trash pickers, and a metal detector man who scooped up a $5,000 diamond ring.